Hey, how are you doing? I'm Odin. And I'm Yvette. And welcome to Amsterdam Clock Vlog. Your local's guide to the city. This episode is all about free things in Amsterdam. But before we start, please remember to subscribe to our channel or join us on Instagram and Facebook. The city is ready. So let's go. Tulip picking garden. No better place for this Dutch tradition than Dam Square. On the third Saturday of January, Dam Square transforms into a giant garden. Why you ask? So you can grab yourself a bouquet of tulips for free, and also because this day marks the start of national tulip season. You do have to stand in line beforehand. The earlier you get in line, the more chance you got. It's quite a big garden, so you have a high chance to pick your tulips. Before it's time to color match your flowers, the press has to witness a few ceremonies. Then all hell breaks loose, oh no, that's just the fireworks. At 1pm the first pickers are set loose in the garden. You'll get a free paper bag to carry your 20 free tulips in. The average waiting time is 30 to 60 minutes. Thankfully. There's the traditional marching band playing songs they like while you wait. It's quite the color spectacle in the middle of Amsterdam. Jordaan Festival. More Amsterdam than the Jordaan neighborhood is not possible. The area raised a lot of famous Levenslied singers, performing the songs of life about life in Amsterdam. No wonder it's got its own festival. Around the end of August, the three day festival takes place at the edge of the Jordaan at the Appeltjes Markt. If you want to go for local culture and a lot of Dutch, you should visit this festival. Many Dutch singers will perform on stage for the locals, bringing you the typical Amsterdam sound. From young to old singers perform on stage. The festival kicks off with DJs and singers on Friday at 8 p.m. until 12 at night. On Saturday and Sunday the area opens at 3 p.m. until around 11 at night. The festival is free and open for everyone via one entrance. The later you come, the more crowded it will get. You can buy something to eat and to drink around the area. Bringing your own is not allowed. Pride Amsterdam Around the beginning of August, the Amsterdam Pride kicks off the festive month in the city. Best known for the canal parade, it actually spends nine days in a row. On day one, the Pride starts with the Pride Walk on Saturday, with a happening at the Homo Monument. Then a walk through the center to the party in the Vondel Park. A great opportunity for the community to show themselves and to show strength and unity. In the days after the Pride Walk, the street parties arise all over the city. One of the features is an open-air cinema on Wednesday and Thursday. The canal parade is on the 8th day. Short of a hundred boats take sail across the Amstel and the Prinsengracht. What a spectacle, music, confetti and a lot of dancing fill the canals. The full range of the community has a place in the parade. The streets next to the canals fill with spectators watching the boats go by. Almost never a dull moment can be found. When you're in the festivities along the canals, by exception you can drink alcohol. But when you leave, drinking alcohol will get you a fine of around 100 euros. So please be and act responsible. You can also enjoy large free parties on Dam Square and Burst Square. 
The Epic Center is around the Reguliersdwarstraat, next to the flower market. Pluk de nacht. Cinema under the stars. For 10 days in a row you can enjoy movies for free next to the river at the Steenhoofd in Amsterdam. Since 2003, this small festival shows undiscovered world cinema in the open air. When the twilight starts you can enter in mobile games on the big screen and compete with people around you. When the night sets in, the movie starts. On the site, you can sponsor the event by buying snacks and drinks and by renting your seat and blanket. But you don't have to. The festival is run for a large part by volunteers. Depending on the weather and the movie, it can get busy. The festival takes place around the second half of August and lasts for 10 days. Prinsengracht concert. Now my personal favorite, the Prinsengracht concert. I can only describe it in at least two words, unique and gezellig. The closest the English language comes to gezellig is cozy. So what is it? Top range classical artists perform on the canal in the twilight surrounded by boats. Transforming the Prinsengracht Canal into a giant, magical, wonderful and cozy living room. Lights, flags and boats combined with classical music, almost at the base of the Wester Tower. It's free and open for everyone, yet it's an event to celebrate the wonders of Amsterdam and its locals. So expect a lot of Amsterdam flags. The celebration started quite simple in 1981 and was first televised in 1984. In 1998 it became part of the Canal Festival, yet remains independent. Nowadays the Prinsengracht concert has become seriously popular. If you want to see it in real life, you have to get there hours before the first notes sound. The concert traditionally ends with the unofficial Amsterdam anthem aan de Amsterdamse grachten, the highlight of the celebration. Prepare for a long stand, so bring a small chair if you can, and some snacks. Many people in the audience drink wine or champagne, so you can bring it too. Go to the toilet beforehand or lose your place in the audience. The concert is on Saturday at the beginning of the second half of August. It starts at 9 pm, then a 45 minute break, and continues till 11 pm. We conclude this episode with a drink. Hope you enjoyed it and if so remember to subscribe to our channel or join us on Instagram or Facebook. Thank you for watching and we'll leave you with this impression of Amsterdam. Until next time. Cheers. Cheers. If you want to see more of Amsterdam, select one of the videos on the left. We appreciate it if you would subscribe and follow us on the socials. Thank you for watching, until next time.